just love to make good food. That's what we do. That's it. Yeah. And you're from Israel? I'm from Israel. Yeah, the meat's India. What's that? The meat's India. Okay, what's, what's in it? It's got uh, beef mints, chickpeas, hummus. Oh, nice. Fries. Sorry, people, we can't reveal the secret. The master should never. I've had it a few times in the past, but you know, they probably got something totally different that I've never tried. Please come and check me out. We have the best food in town. What's happening, people? Welcome to the channel. Now, today we're checking out Israeli food. We've got an Israeli food truck behind me, and I'm gonna go and see what this guy's all about. People have told me you need to go check out this Israeli spot. Okay, let's cross the road. Let's not get run over. And this is the food truck here in front of us. See a few people waiting. It's so soft, it's unbelievable. Eric, yeah. this is your meat, my friend. Peace. And the chocolate banana is not far away. Thanks. Peace. Mm, it's good. How's it going, brother? It's going good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Eric. Eric. What do, you, what do you got there? Eric, you like got something got nice the, um, and delicious there. Yeah, the meat's in here. What's that? The meat's in here. Okay, and what's, what's in it? It's got uh, beef mints, chickpeas, hummus. Oh, and nice. Fries as well, I think, yeah. Oh, nice. You recommend this place to people? Well, it's the first time trying it, but it looks really good. Okay, Yeah. that's it. Thank you, brother. No Thank you for your time. Yeah, people, I'm outside the Israeli food truck right here on the Wakeful Street in Wellington. And... Um, man food smells really really good so i'm gonna check these guys out probably taste the food of course and tell you people at home that's never had israeli food i don't know how many of you people had israeli food i've had it a few times in the past but you know they probably got something totally different that i've never tried what's happening brother all good all good <laughs> all good yeah yeah what's happening today Oh, I just came to have a feed. This is a new shop, so I just wanted yeah. to try it out. So You never tried Israeli food before? Uh, not really, no. Not proper, authentic one. This is oh, a there you go. Yeah, great, no, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Purple zero, so. Enjoy. Yeah. Wow, that looks good. Yeah, this looks Well, what, good. what did you order there? I ordered the falafel one, the first one. Okay, falafel. Yeah. yeah. Nice, it looks, looks good, brother. Looks My good. brother? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Melvin. Okay. Well, enjoy your meal, bros. All right. Looks good. Looks like it's gonna. You gotta have have a good time eating that. Sure. And that's the great thing about this city. There's a lot of delicious food. There's a lot of food from different cultures. And we are doing food trucks today. I'm outside the Israeli food truck. So I have had Israeli food in the past. And uh, big shout out to my man Daniel and the crew, Mama Sav, Ahi, yeah, Shalom. Um, that's my brother. He's from uh, Jerusalem. So hopefully he's watching this. Big shout out to you, my man, Daniel. You know, we do, my man. If you can't afford to go to Israel, <laughs> come down to Wakefield Street. Come get a taste of Israeli food. And I tell you, it's all Sababa. <laughs> okay, people, we're gonna go into the, into the van, the caravan now, see look. This is how we do, we go behind the scenes. And only cause I can get go behind the scenes. So that we're inside the truck now. We're gonna show you where all all the happenings here, the magic. So tell me what, what are you doing here? This is a falafel batter. Yeah. And we make this yeah. And I'm just making it into perfect little bowls. Okay. Putting it in the oil. The oil is exactly 170 degrees Celsius. Hey, oh. <laughs> 170 degrees. Yes. There's a lady watching this right now and it's yes. got it peeing out. She's got it peeing out. 170 degrees. Write it down now. <laughs> the secret is out. The secret is out. There's going to be another Israeli truck in Wellington running around Wellington soon. Moving here and get the Yeah. So. This is um, it's amazing what these trucks can carry, you know, all these things that these guys, all the work and stuff like that's amazing. See, you people at home, you guys are lucky. What's your name, sir? Elan. Elan. 
Yeah, do you want to say anything to the people out there? Oh, uh, we just love to make good food. That's what we do. That's it. Yeah. And you're from Israel? I'm from Israel. That's yeah. yeah. Shalom, my friend. Shalom, shalom. It's yeah. hard to see my accent, but he heal my accent. But yeah. yeah. That's it. So what are you doing here? This is the famous uh, my special... Uh, coffee pita bread. Yeah. yeah. Back this morning. Yeah. And the way we do it, we open them. And the magic inside. It's the fluffy pita inside. Okay. They you fill up. Yeah. First go the hummus. Okay. The hummus first. Yeah. Good old hummus. It's have to be all around. You don't miss a spot. Yeah. It's really important. Yeah. Spice level. Yeah. Decide how much to put. Just a little bit. And waiting for falafel, so we start with the mix. Okay. The meat there. Goes inside. Fries. Oh, well, it's quite similar to the Greeks how they put fries into uh, it is. It is. In, into the suvalaki. Exactly. It's very similar. And to you that. put the veggies and cheese and oh, cabbage, Pickles, like lettuce, cabbage, tomatoes, tomatoes cucumbers. Oh, it looks very it healthy. It is healthy. Very healthy. Opa. So, you people out there, the they call Okay. Tahini. Oh, secret, secret, secret sauce. You can't have enough tahini. Okay. And the secret is amba. What's that? A little bit of amba. I this cannot tell you what it is. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and we fill it to the top. It needs to be full. Oh, look at that. If it's not full, we are not happy. Good. Okay. Now, more tahini. There's never enough tahini. I'll just Okay, now I get what you mean. Yeah. There's never enough, not enough of that. Yeah, a little bit of hot sauce. You want yeah. the medium. And then goes a beautiful onion and some parsley on top. Wow. That's our dish. And what was that called? What's this called? Meat sinia. Meat sinia. 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 Yeah. Oh. Here you go, my friend. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. And please come again. <laughs> you know where to find us. Yes. <laughs> Falafel is the reason i doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was in Israel in November. I yeah. came back. Enough is enough. We need good falafel in Belgium. Yeah. And this is why I'm doing it. Nice. It all starts with the pita bread. Slice it. Again, this beautiful pocket inside. Just yeah, pocket, yeah. Unbelievable. Hummus. Nice pocket there so the food can sit in there. It's just like pocket just opens up like a, a new Louis V or Gucci bag. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is a Gucci bag. Yeah. And then what cost wanted? Hot. Yeah, hot. <laughs> okay, uh, that, okay, that's uh, yeah, okay. Hot sauce. <laughs> Man, I think I'm cool. <laughs> falafel to start with. Some fries and, some and fries. falafel. Yeah. Yeah. And the veggies. Uh, and the veggies. Put them in. Chug it in. The crunch of the air. More tahinis. It's never enough. Oh, never enough. Yeah. A little bit of hot sauce. And the secret sauce. Amba. The secret sauce. Sorry, people. We can't reveal the secret. A master should never reveal his secret. Never. Another fries on the top for beauty. And more. More tahini. More tahini. <laughs> My man's hooking up the tahini. And I'm telling you, once you eat it, you'll see you need more tahini. That's the way it goes. Oh, look at Onion. that. Look at this, people. And parsley. Look how delicious that looks. Oh man, I'm in drooling right now. Thank you, brother. Of course, you need to eat. It's time Thank. for your food. Okay. Thank you. Let me just put this mic here. So, here we go, guys. This is it right here. And we're steaming. Ah. This is the first time. Now, 
this is the first time that I've tried Israeli uh, hummus like this and looks really delicious and I know you people are drooling watching this footage but I'm sorry you can't have none it's all for me <laughs> <laughs> let me go I'm going outside and have it and thank you very much so yeah guys just got look at that look at this look at the goodness ah oh, it smells so good if only the video would give you guys a smell because it won't do uh, the footage alone won't do it do it uh, justice but we'll taste it and we'll tell you what's up yeah so <laughs> yeah people I just had to get away from the noise so I'm having my falafel right here so this is falafel right there look how beautiful that looks now falafel shook Tel Aviv is what he told me I suppose it's from Tel Aviv in uh, Israel so first time trying a falafel thing like this from Israel thank you God for the food how we do now let me try this let me try this how am I gonna do it mm. took a little bite there mm. Hmm. Fellas, this is so good. Man. Oh. Chaps out to the chin. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was a big bite. So good, really delicious, and man, so tasty. The sauce is amazing. I don't know, I never really had that sauce before, but it really adds to the flavor of the of the falafel in this, and the bread as well. I think he made his own breads as well, so. Flavorsome. The flavors are just mind blowing. It's like blowing my mind. Boom. It's this is this is great. This is amazing. I really love the sauce. Really love the sauce. Like I said, it really adds to, to everything else that's on here. Now I tell you people, you have to come check these guys out food is really good this is amazing I'll be coming back most definitely ma'am this is definitely a 10 out of 10 as far as food truck food goes fresh how fresh it is and how tasty it is it's not being biased this is the business I mean wow take another bite falafel there let's attack that falafel there <laughs> yeah, the sauce is running down my hand man grubby get it together cause but that's so yummy man mmm Wow, I'm so glad I found this food truck. You know, that's my job is to bring you guys places that you probably haven't been to. And I found <laughs> I found a, a gym right here behind me, the food truck behind me, the Israeli food truck. Bro, hectic. You guys gotta try it. I swear to God. This is oh I swear to God. Whoa, bro. This is hectic cuz. That's for my homies in Sydney, in the area. 
I see you guys in the area. I see you guys. I know you guys want, want some of this. But I tell you, this is not to be messed with. <laughs> these guys are definitely the business. And like I said, I'm glad I came, came here to try these people out. And I recommend that you guys also pull up and support these guys. Because delicious food is delicious food. You know? I mean, it's a lot of effort, a lot of love in this food. And I really recommend it. Tell, tell people to come and check out your place because this is amazing, man. People, More people need to know about this. Thank you. So can you please uh, speak to the people and tell them to come and check you out? Please come and check me out. We have the best food in town. So far, you got this spot here in Wakefield Street, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Street. One, 170 Wakefield at the Old Hamo Hotel. Yeah, 170 Wakefield. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, people, just had the falafel and I tell you, it's off the meter. It is the business, and I tell you, it's all sababa. <laughs> the falafel is number one. So people, make sure you pull up, support these guys, because the food's amazing. The taste, I mean, the sauces adds a lot to the flavor. And um, I want you people to, you know, I want you people to, to have a try, because this food is like, uh, it won't be hidden long for too long. It won't be hidden underground for too long. People are gonna find out people next time you see this place gonna be queues and queues of people <laughs> dying to get their falafel because because I can tell you people so it has to stand for 30 seconds okay yes. this is, um, look at this we're smelling Ooh. Israeli coffee oh he's got he's got something in what, what was that called cardamom. Um, cardamom in, in the coffee Israeli coffee. This guy's spoiling me, really hooking, hooking me up right here. Here you go. Yeah. It's very hot. So. I, I, man, I don't even know how to describe the taste of that coffee. That was that that thing that he put in it. Le, le Haltemont? Caldemont. Caldemont. Le Hel so it's a strange taste. I've never had that taste before, but it's pretty good. But um, it's pretty strong coffee too. Man, I probably won't be able to go to sleep tonight. Oh, wow, that was out of a taste. So if you guys have tried it, uh, Israeli coffee, leave it in the comment section because it's that's a it's a new something new for me. Definitely new for me. Never tried it before. Uh, here, look, this is cardamom spice. I'm sure you know this. Oh, cardamom spice. So, ca cardamom. Yes. So it's got cardamom in, in the coffee. And um, I'm not used to that taste. But uh, it's pretty good. It's very different. Coffee, coffee's like a, a long, like a strong, long black. Correct. With uh, cardamom. Cardamom in it. Wow, your boy's trying new things. Oh, sirens. The coffee's so hot, the sirens, the, the fire department's coming to put the coffee out. It's too hot. It's heating up. Ah, Thank you, sir. Thank you, my man. You're welcome. Yeah. Bevakasha. 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 Yeah. And, um, so the word for today, Israeli word for today, is sababa. Now sababa is a slang, right? You know, it's like awesome, dope. Everything's good. It's like mean, bro. It's like hectic. That's hectic. Well, sababa is on the same vein. Same, same. You can use that for the same thing. And today, the Israeli food, sababa, most definitely running on a handy, running on one handy, hundred percent. So when you're in the area, make sure you you come out and check these people out. Nice guy, come support local. You won't be disappointed because the food's amazing. I'm telling you, because I can. So I'll see you guys soon. So that was nice. 
the food was great Israeli food truck amazing food I'm not just telling you I'm telling you <laughs> nah it's great great food great guy and those falafels so falafel was just I mean I've had falafels in the past but this falafels is like I don't know king falafel it was so nice and the flavor was so good the sauces everything everything was good amazing so people pull up support my man's uh, truck you know we're bringing you the gems hidden places in Wally and the food truck series continues so I'm going to be dropping the food truck uh, series like when I find the right food trucks I bring it to you people definitely and as always thank you for watching the channel thank you for all this tuning in and I'd have to say latest all this day in the boss lane people you know how we do because I can thank you